G'day everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sean and this is RFD Hobby. Today we are going to be looking at something that I've been playing with for a couple of months now and this video should have been out long ago but this has been such a fun project and the nature of it has meant I've needed to take a little while because this is my first FDM printer and it was sent to me by Two Trees. This is the Two Trees SK1 FDM printer. Now this is my first FDM printer as I said and I have to say the machine from Two Trees here, the SK1, has been extremely forgiving with my lack of knowledge. I've thrown a lot at it in such a short period of time and I wanted to show you some of what I've been able to produce with it. Uh, but let's take a look at some of these projects I did and see, see how they look. So uh, the first thing you're probably going to try and print out is a Benchy or something like that to test the print. I did that, I printed I think two, or I tried two. The first one was failure, the second one worked. And after that I just kind of went crazy. And uh, obviously I went for this kind of thing, uh, you know, articulated dragons. Obviously very fun things to play with once you print them out. I just, you just, it's hard to believe when you get one of these prints how amazing it's going to be and how quick this actually printed out for me. I was expecting this to be quite slow, but the SK-1 has actually got a really high print speed. And I wasn't sure about this because when you download things, you know, they tell you what speed to set it at. But I, I left it at the default and um, some of these were crazy fast, <laughs> probably too fast for what I was trying to print. And, you know, that's where it comes into, as I said, so fine tuning some of the settings and understanding that takes a little while. But you can honestly take this thing out of the box and start getting stuff off the print bed so this is a you know a little crypt type thing that I printed out as you can see it turned out really good that's been primed I've got uh, you know a few small things that I did you know articulated octopus as well which is really fun you know a little uh, mini nuke all out the ball. Uh, some functional things which is what 3d printing is really about I guess for a lot of people it's about printing solutions and Things like the airbrush holder was just a cool little thing I could print out and paint up and it turned out really, really cool. You know, little busts and things like that were really easy to print. Uh, I love painting these sorts of things. Now terrain is where it's really at. I love painting this sort of stuff. I love making it as well, but you know, if you can set a printer to be cranking out things like this while you're sitting on the sidelines, making things at your desk, uh, why not? So I've got a few of those that have come out painted up and they are usually in multiple pieces uh, but you can see that these things have just been painted up really quickly with an airbrush and um, some army painter paints that's all I've really used here to paint all this stuff one of my favorite things of all was the dice tower this thing is three part print so the top comes off here but this was a really great print I really enjoyed doing this one uh, it works great as a dice tower if that's what you like but fun painting uh, that's I guess you know, where it's at for me. All these files that I've got here have been taken from uh, either Thingiverse printables or my mini factory and I'm pretty sure every single one of these is free. Uh, now as far as the printer goes, I should go into some of the details for that. I'm, now I'm not, uh, you know, as I said, this is my first FTM printer, so I'm by no means, you know, someone you should listen to uh, when it comes to, you know, these sorts of things because I don't know exactly the comparisons. I don't have another machine to compare this with. All I can tell you is that my experience with it has been really great. I had you know minimal issues. Any issues are generally generated by the user, like just me setting something wrong or, or tooling around with something. But this printer has been really great. It does have a print size of 256 by 256 by 256, so you can get quite large prints out of that. It does have Z tilt leveling, so there's three motors that actually control uh, the bed. Uh, it can print up to 700 millimeters per second. Now I don't know exactly if that's what speed it's printing at. I have used the default settings um, straight out of the box which set it up to uh, I believe 600. It doesn't run all the way at 600 obviously but uh, even with those default settings with really high speeds uh, the prints I got were quite good. Uh, it runs on the Clipper firmware. It's Wi-Fi so you can just have it send the files from your computer straight to it to print. It was really really handy. It does have an all metal heat nozzle as well so it can get up to 300 degrees celsius so for you know, any kind of filament you're trying to print you know i will say the firmware changeover was a, a little bit more in depth than i expected it didn't involve you know flipping the machine and taking a panel off but you know it's not hard to do there's, there's they've put out a tutorial which is super simple to follow 
I, I, the only reason I say that is I was expecting to just throw a USB disk in there somehow. But. So I found this to be such a versatile machine to have in the workshop and I really loved having it. I hope I can keep this thing running. <laughs> Honestly, that's my biggest worry at the moment. It's just, you know, I don't know what I'm doing. So yeah, I have, you know, mucked around with the settings and caused most of my own problems basically. But I've had a great time. I hope to do some more with 3D printing and definitely I'll have some more videos out particularly around painting some of these projects, but for the time being, anything you see like this on the channel, any of these types of terrain items have come from this Two Trees SK-1, because I have been, like I said, just throwing everything at it and it is just taking it like a champ. So if you are in the market for a printer, uh, you know, and this sort of fits the, the dimensions and the requirements that you're looking for, definitely take a look at this one. It's been, you know, it's been my baby now for a couple of months. So it was hard for me to turn it off to record this video because I didn't want it to be, you know, have the fan running in the background, you know, with it running there because it is right beside us. So I didn't want it running, but it was really hard. I've had to wait all day to finish the project so I could stop it, turn it off to record this video. So it's been a huge fun and I've had a lot of, I'm, I'm still having a lot of fun with it. So I can highly recommend it. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for uh, watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope it's been helpful to you in some way. I uh, will be back uh, soon with some more videos. We'll do some painting. This is really, this machine has really inspired me to start painting again, which has been so much fun, even miniatures and everything. So it's been so. Anyway, thank you again to my Patreon supporters. Thank you everyone for watching. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button, whatever. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.